like you, I'm more of a, uh, a tech nerd than an actual business person. Um, <laughs> so I'd, I'd like to learn more about, you know, how the investment process works. I'm mm-hmm. still only 15. So um, I'm also managing school and starting uh, my startup. Um, so it's definitely quite a balance. Um, so, you know, t- tips on how to uh, balance everything, how to get investment, all that stuff would mm-hmm. be wonderful. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, let's start quickly so that everybody has context. Like, tell me a bit about yourself. Um, and tell me a bit about um, um, tell me a bit about like uh, a beam, okay? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so hi everyone. Uh, my name is Toby. I'm a 15 year old um, web developer, I guess, and uh, newly founder uh, from London. Um, I'm creating this thing called Beam. Um, so Beam is essentially this thinking machine uh, which integrates with all the tools you use daily, um, and it learns from you to create a personalized experience. So um, other tools like ChatGPT have very basic memory of you, mm-hmm. and every time you start a new conversation, it's you're basically starting from a blank, uh, blank slate. Um, mm-hmm. And Beam, you know, Beam remembers all of the context about you and will integrate with all of your favorite services. Mm-hmm. Um, That's awesome. You, you're 15, you said, right? Thanks. I'm 15. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. And you built this all on your own? All by myself. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want to show it to us? Yeah, totally. Uh, let me share my screen. Where is it? Here we go. Cool. Can you see that okay? Yes, perfectly. Great. So um, my favorite example is, you know, sort of planning trips and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to give an example of, you know, I'm going to plan a trip with a friend. So Actually, can you I'm... zoom in a bit? Because I think this is a bit too small on this chat. Like, oh, like wait, one second. I have a better idea. Yeah. Give me one second. I think this works. Make it a little bit bigger if you can, by the way. I trust you. Okay. Perfect. Thanks. Great. So in this example, um, I'm going to say I'm planning a trip to my Paris with my friend Alex. And what should we do? So immediately we see um, uh, images uh, that it's that it's um, fetched from the web. Um, and what's interesting here is it's also got um, it shows us its sources. So a big problem with AI is it, it doesn't provide its sources and Beam does. Um, and this can also provide links for us to check out, um, which is also really helpful. This is really uh, cool. So, thank you. It's remembered my name. Um, it's remembered that I've mentioned Alex in the past, um, and Alex likes art, so it's suggested that we check out the Louvre. Um, and, you know, it suggests now about Paris having good food, uh, gives us a restaurant, and now infers that we want, you know, we want to be close to that, uh, to the centre. So it, um, it then suggests us a good hotel for that. And then it remembers that it's going to provide links and tells you at the end there. Um, so I'll then say to it, awesome. Um, I'd like to do this. So Beam will then look at my calendar um, and will send immediately update my calendar to um, on the days that I'm available within the certain parameters that I've given it over a weekend and later this month. Um, and it will also send an invite to Alex. Um, and now I can ask Beam, so could you, could you remind me to book everything? So Beam pulls up my to-do list and will update it with book loof tickets, uh, book the restaurant and book the hotel. Um, and it shows me down here. So if I want to reverse that action, I can just click on that. Um, so I'll tell Beam that we're all booked now. Um, so it will it will infer. Oh, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see <laughs> that. Um, it will infer that um, uh, that I finished the task that it's just assigned on my to do list, and we'll show this here. So I can just click on this, and it will then mark those tasks as done. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I can just say here. So I'm concerned about the weather, so I'll say what all the weather be like and it will remember we're talking about paris and remember the dates we've mentioned and we'll then go and fetch a weather api and provide me this information here um and now um so you know obviously no one wants to be working over their holidays so i'll say i'd rather not work whilst there what do i have to do before i i go so Beam will then fetch from Linear um, and show me the tasks I have to complete. Um, and these are all, it presumes I can get these done before uh, the date I'm leaving. 
Uh, so yeah, that's Beam. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, how Thank did you, you how did you technically build this? Like, what's the stack? Like, what did you use? Um, so Beam is built on well the actual AI. Uh, right now, this is just Grok because uh, Grok's fast. But I'm also the main the main uh, LLM powering Beam is Claude mm -hmm. uh, Claude Three Opus. Um, and so we we fetch upon uh, the Bing API and we mm -hmm. read the top eight. Uh, web results and if they fail it won't include it in its response so we've only had four that have worked here mm -hmm. um, and that's probably they're just blocking uh, blocks or something um, and so this um, right now the to-do lists are just um, just you know they're uh, what's the word uh, it basically they're not integrated with any other services um, but I'd like to be able to build integrations with um, uh, things like Todoist and stuff like that um, the uh the calendar we're just using a normal uh sorry not the calendar yes well the calendar we use google calendar um mm -hmm. so we can integrate with, with your google calendar so uh you can see tasks you need to get done so you can um this doesn't work right now but you at some point in the future you'll be able to ask beam you know uh, what dates my free and it'll show you a snap of your calendar and stuff like that mm -hmm. um it can read your calendar right now but can't um we don't have an interface to display that yet mm -hmm. um and whether we're just fetching upon a normal weather API and linear is obviously from linear's API. Mm -hmm. What would be useful for you, like before we get into the investment discussion, like what would be useful for you um, otherwise? Like uh, the people who are watching, we have currently, and no stress, roughly 1,000 people watching. Uh, wow, yeah, gosh. Yeah, I didn't expect <laughs> that. I think honestly, Twitter numbers are fake. I don't believe that. Um, <laughs> to, to, like if you're actually watching please write something in the Twitter chat or in the uh, Algoria chat like this is like a wild number 1000 people is insane anyway um, what would be useful for you like uh, how can people help you a part of like investment obviously um, well so apart from investment I'd like as many as many signups as possible um, we've got about 200 people on the wait list um, which is a good amount but I think we can get more um, you know, I, I really see this going somewhere. Um, you know, at some point in the future, I'd like to be able to integrate with other platforms. Um, and that, that would be awesome. Um, I'm currently trying to find a team uh, to help build build Beam out with me. Because uh, all of this has been, everything you're seeing here, I've, I've built by myself. Um, so, when yeah. You, when you I, say you know, we, that, when you say we, you just mean yourself, right? Just me, myself. Make yeah, me feel yeah, better yeah. if I say we. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do the same. Uh, it sounds like way more yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. I had the same. I was exactly. like, I was selling to really, really large um, companies uh, in my uh, yeah. like early page of my career, and I was like so terrified that, that they actually because like, they actually wanted to accept my offer, and I was like just like freaking yeah. out. And then in the meeting, I said like, yeah, that sounds great, but I first have to just discuss this with my team to make sure we can actually fulfill <laughs> blah 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 blah. And I was like sweating, yeah. you know, and there was no team, obviously. I was just like trying to get out yeah, of the meeting yeah. and then afterwards be like, okay, I can do it, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, so regarding investment, um, why do you want to invest? Like you basically said you want to hire a few people. This is, this is correct? Exactly, yeah. So I'd like to expand Beam to other platforms. Um, you know, I, um, I, I, I use my phone quite a lot, as quite a lot of people do. Um, and I'd like to build out an iOS app because right now Beam only exists on the web. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we, we've got powerful APIs that we can use. Um, so a lot of it would just be, you know, building an app out. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, there's a lot of potential here. Um, I believe at least where well, I'm biased. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I've never I've never used a platform which um, an AI platform which, before which which does this. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I I believe it to be quite unique, um, and I think it has a lot of potential. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Um, what do you know about investments? What do you not know? Like, what would be uh, like? What are the things that would be useful for you to know? Um, I mean, I'd, I'd like to learn the stages. Um, you know, because I I um, I wouldn't be looking for a crazy amount of money or anything. Um, but you know, I I guess from from your perspective as as a person who invests, mm -hmm. um, what 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 would you look out uh, when look out for when people approach you for investments? Like what stands out to you? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Do you mind if we quickly switch and I share screen for a second? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let me see if I can properly share the screen. Um, wait a minute. I'm a yeah, why not? This should work. Um, I, I I feel like using a computer for the very first time. 
I have so many <laughs> things going on on my browser, uh, on my computer right now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sweet. Um, you see this, right? Let me make this. Yeah. Bigger. Okay, cool. So um, I want to give you like two quick frameworks, okay? Um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you asked before about stages, you know? Um, yeah. And uh, basically, the, the way that this works, while you, the company gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, there's like different stages, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, I, I, um, yeah. You heard about them, pre-seed, seed, series A, and so on and so on. Like, I don't need to bore you with this yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. The most important thing to understand is that early on, it's way more about the expectations in the future, okay? Yeah. Uh, then about the reality in a way, okay? I think this mm. is obvious, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The reasoning here is actually, let me like add you here so that we see you too. Um, the, the, the reason is because, quite frankly, you don't know where it's going, okay? So I think that's clear, okay? So um, yeah. I will go in a, in a few other calls today and a few more topics here, but like the, the two frameworks I want to give you, okay? Number one, is what I think of as a 3D space, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like my be a beautiful draw. Um, so basically we have execution, um, innovation, and credentials, okay? Uh, execution, like how far are you? You know, like hasn't done anything to like $5 trillion in revenue. Uh, innovation, like this is completely a copy of something that exists, you know, or it's like slightly different down to yeah. um, fundamentally different. I, I like the language and everything. Uh, Chico, mm -hmm. uh, we're de slightly delaying Chico, just FYI, okay? Um, and number three is credentials, okay? So, um, like, who is the person involved? Who are the investors involved? All this kind of stuff, you know? This is like, um, yeah. and in, my, in my experience, you should be good on two of them to raise a round, like, from a power position, mm -hmm. from like a strong position, right? Um, or yeah. really, really good on one. So, uh, for example, you have like absurd amount of execution. Like if you make trillions of dollars in revenue, your company is successful no matter who you are, whatever, right? Uh, mm. Or if, yeah. you're, if you previously started uh, SpaceX, you know, it <laughs> honestly doesn't matter how far you executed so far or like how great the idea is. If you want like the founder of Instagram can launch a new app, you know what I mean? Like they get, doesn't matter, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, for you, uh, why this is interesting here is for two things. Number one, the problem that you have is there's like the whole space of like AI is currently extremely noisy. There's like dozens mm, of absolutely. people doing this, right? And there's dozens mm -hmm. of people doing like this assistant in AI kind of idea. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, mm. the, the problem you have is if I invest in this, you know, I don't know how different this actually is. Like, is this different enough that you can get mindshare? Okay, and this brings me mm -hmm. oops, this brings me to my second concept, uh, and then I go back to the other two. Okay, like sure. imagine this is a human brain. Okay, this looks a little bit different, but like you get the idea. Okay, um, yeah, I strongly believe that we have boxes in our brain. Okay, and boxes in which we remember stuff. So when I tell you project management software, there will be like five mm -hmm. things that come up because you use project management software regularly, right? Uh, like you will yeah. think of like linear, Jira, and like three, four others, you know? People who don't <laughs> work professionally with project management software can think of two or three, okay? The problem yeah. you have usually is like this, I think of this as mindshare, okay? Um, like mindshare for a certain topic, a term, a, 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 a theme, okay? Uh, for example, <laughs> in your case, AI assistance. The problem you have, there's already like a lot of stuff in here, okay? Yeah. Um, which also means from the point of an investor, like how innovative is this, okay? And also, <clears throat> like if there's many things I can already compare to and it's a very noisy market, is the innovation strong enough that you will actually be like one of those that like outlier, okay? Yeah, um, okay. The usually, there's like two ways around this. Like number one is just like execute, execute, execute. You know, mm -hmm. uh, number two is what people think of as niching, which I don't really like as a term, is like trying to create like a specific separate uh, box. You know, uh, oh, this is why you yeah. see stuff like, hey, there is um, Calendly, you know, and there is like hundreds mm -hmm. of uh, other scheduling tools. And then people come up with uh, open source Calendly, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. open source Calendly mean that those that you can like self-host, change the code, whatever, like all of a sudden there's like a new box 
And now it's about, yeah. it's like, hey, I have a new box, which is like open source uh, calendar software. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah. Cool. Like, I don't know any other. And now the question is only, do I believe you that this box is interesting enough? Do I believe you that this box is like, has an opportunity, can be big enough and so on and so on. So quite frequently, it's like, this is like essentially positioning, niching. I don't like the term niching because it could, the, the, the new box could be bigger than the other box. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Or can be yeah. completely unrelated. So um, regarding fundraising, the main feedback you will get is that this is very similar to a lot of other stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. And mm -hmm. usually, and I, I guess you have seen this, um, you have seen, most likely experienced this as a developer, you program something, and then you see mm -hmm. exactly the same features in a completely different product that charges like 5x because they sell it to lawyers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they slightly mm -hmm. position it different. Like it's not like an upload form, it's like a, a secure data storage or something like that. But it's yeah. technically just an upload form, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's all about, like, in the end, a little bit about positioning. So, okay, all of that being said, um, to get into a power position, my suggestion is to see if you can, like, slightly create a new box, niche, topic, topic focus. Um, mm -hmm. Which one? I don't know. That's something you know better than I. You know, that's like mm -hmm. you talk to your users, you know. And that could yeah. help you to stand a little bit out. And then uh, it's like you have, like, it's a little bit easier to stand out. Here they are, okay? That's number mm. one. Okay. Um, and then the second one in your specific case, okay? Um, most early stage investors uh, don't just invest in um, the product, they invest quote unquote in a mm -hmm. team, you know? Okay. And yeah. um, especially what most uh, uh, VC funds are looking for is like outlier type investors, uh, founders. Nobody mm -hmm. really knows what that means, you know, but they have usually like a little bit idiosyncratic genius archetype, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, in your case, you have a really interesting story because you're so young. So you realistically mm -hmm. could get into a lot of funds just because of the fact that they, they think or like they know that you're very outlier. Because you're very mm -hmm. young, which is also interesting for them because that's a story they can tell to their investors, that it's a story that they can tell to press, all this kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so realistically, there is a chance that you can raise uh, just because of the age and the fact that what you built so far mm -hmm. is like pretty much like awesome, you know? Like I think the stuff Thank that you. you built so far <laughs> can easily compare to other stuff I've seen, you know what I mean? Obviously, yeah. I, we didn't like dig into like all the edge cases, but like, it's somewhere, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, yeah, thank you. So that's my thinking, okay? If you're looking for um, investment, what I would do is I would look for funds that are very, very comfortable with super early stage, okay? Um, yeah. My, um, we can go afterwards. I have to hurry a little bit to make sure I get like time for other folks as well. But like this would be a common mm -hmm. question, so I will list afterwards a few that I think could be useful, okay? My Great. other suggestion, personally, is... Um, make sure you actually want to fundraise, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you're 15, if you work on like yeah. one, two, three, four projects, and some of them work, you know what I mean? You have mm -hmm. a very high likelihood of building something that's pretty epic, that makes a lot of money and doesn't need to make any investor happy, and you can jump between projects that you think is useful, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I personally mm. think that Nobody, unless they absolutely know why, should get investment. Does this make any okay. sense? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, any questions before I uh, uh, ramble more? <laughs> I'm like radio, like you just turn me on, I just like keep talking. <laughs> um, I, no, I, don't, I, I, think, I think that's covered everything for me. Cool. Um, so uh, this is for the, the, the now 1,300 people, not 200 people watching. Um, wow. Go to beam.computer, okay? Try out uh, the app, okay? Um, if you... E, that's double E, by the way. Sorry, did, did I misspell it? No, B-E-E, -E, I've got that quite... So B-E-E-M, I've got that quite a few times. No, no, but like I have it in the stream, don't worry. Like it's, it's visible to everybody. Oh, great. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, like everybody you. sees the correct URL. <laughs> 
Not worry about that. Yeah. Uh, got you covered, dude. Um, try out the app, okay? Uh, send Toby feedback. And uh, if you do early stage investing, uh, ping Toby, okay? Toby, if anybody pings you and you want like uh, somebody to coach you through this, like, like let me know. Uh, I'm, I'm not a good investor for right. this, but I'm very happy to help you if you get like any offers, okay? Wonderful, thank you. Cool. Let's stop screen share for a second. Okay, Toby, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you got my uh, email, you got my everything. Like, uh, keep me in the mm -hmm. loop how this is going, okay? Wonderful, thank you so much. Cool. Um, 